Hello, YouTube enthusiasts of the small, gimmicky, you know, little amp that you think you don't need. And you might be right, and you might be extremely wrong. Why, you might ask yourself, am I doing a review of the little orange crush mini, you know, gimmicky habit? It's really gimmicky. Have it on your living room shelf kind of as a decoration amp. Well, because Orange asked me to, and they're also paying me to do that. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to turn sounds off. <laughs> now I remember. Um, so, yes, Michiel, I know I should turn my sounds off. I'm sorry. So, yeah, Orange uh, said, hey, do this. How do I do this? You know, difficult. Or is it? Let's figure it out. We're gonna have this little amp, which, uh, I don't know, this is, uh, I'm filming this now, and in a month it comes out. So I don't know pricing. I know that the Crush Micro is 49 bucks. Now that's the Crush Mini, which is slightly different. Is it gonna be 49? Let's assume it is between 49 and 100. Let's say it's 79, okay? 79 for a little amp that you can put on your desk. Battery powered. Please always remember it's battery powered. And then is, is it a practice amp? I'm gonna say right away, hell no, because I'll show you why. Whoa! Whoa! This is sweet. This is some kind of apple cider sweetened something warm. Ew. <clears throat> As he drinks more of it. So let me show you. So I have this cable, which is stop going, Bing! Um which is going into the Walrus Audio 385 overdrive because I know you're going to ask me how does it sound with pedals as if that's relevant for this thing we're going to test it anyway well I'm gonna drop D why not I can keep that um, and uh, so we're gonna go into this and um it has a wait why am I tuning here I'm an idiot as I plug let's see, go to the amp as I plug this cable in it turns on, it actually doesn't have an on switch. Now if I push this thing in, I have a tuner. So let's see. The tuner does not turn the amp off. So I'm gonna make it quiet. D is good. Gain low. So it has a headphone out. It can be powered by 9 volt, 500 milliamp, so a few power supplies can do it. There is no power supply supplied with the amp, but you can use any 9 volt power supply as long as it has 500 milliamps. Um, and there's a gain, a tone, and a, a volume knob. Le volume in the French. Uh, and the tuner. The tuner itself works. 
So, um, on the table with its, I don't even know what that is, three, four, five inch speaker with a, what is that, a biodynamic something stereo mic. This is a stereo mic about this far in front of it. You can hear that the little speaker is is uh, distorting, not in a nice way. And if I crank up the gain, That's not a very desirable sound, I'm sorry, because that speaker is simply crap. So as a practice amp on the table, I'm sorry to say, because it just doesn't sound good, but it has a speaker out. Now, again, we're going to test it with the overdrive on the table. Okay, so the built-in speaker, if that's all you're going to use, it is something that makes a sound. It is a nice decoration. It has this really cool, exactly like the big orange amps grill cloth and the same Tolex. It's a great little decoration. But it has that speaker out. So, let's skip that in the room mic. And we're going to go... I just plugged it into the Torpedo Studio with a cap that I use. It's a Ford and Ford 12, um, just to show you what it can sound like with a speaker. So it goes from a lot of mids to almost no mids. So uh, quite a cool knob. Uh, so with the overdrive, there's an orange fizzle, but you might like that. without an overdrive, so does it take overdrives? Yeah, yeah, doesn't suck at all. But check this out. I'm gonna crank the gain.
the track that you heard in the beginning was actually recorded with the orange crush into the torpedo. Now the question is, uh, how does it sound going into a cab in the room? Now we have a, an answer for that. Remember, kids, right now it's still powered by 9 volt battery. It has a little bit more output, I think, when you're using the power supply, but it's a 9 volt battery. I'm going to turn my stereo room mic around for you. So we're going to mic that blue cap that Leslie is cutting to, which should be cap number 10. So that uh, coffee cap, which clocks in at about a thousand bucks, is now powered by a little orange crush mini powered by 9 volt battery. <laughs> Holy shit, fuck! Want to hear the angle too? Come on! Okay, I need more of that stuff to be fit. I don't know. Uh, Olaf, hey! Come on! It's powered by 9 volt battery! So, what do I think of the Orange Crush Mini something amp? It's got a tuner. The tuner alone, worth 20 bucks. It works. Um, I love the look and the feel of it as a novelty little thing. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I have a, another little thing that you know, get it? Mm. Because, you know, get, wait, where's my... Phil McKnight sent me this, come on. You can, by the way, order this at Phil McKnight's t-shirt order place. Um, so, let me get this over here. It's got little feet, battery compartment. It's got an aux in, which we didn't even talk about. You know, pump in your little... You know, I'm sorry, I, uh, ooh. coming through here, really not. Uh, headphone out might be okay. Point is, the sounds are orangey. They have that fizzle, they have that density, totally there. Um, that speaker out going into a load box with an impulse response or going into an actual speaker is really not shabby, especially for metal because that transistor sound has that really aggressive metal tone. Now, the track I did in the beginning, I was blown away this morning when I recorded this. This thing is, let's say, under 100 bucks. It'll look cool in your collection. It'll look cool in your room. You can take it out on the meadow for the picnic and metal around with that speaker. It's gonna sound like ass, but what do you expect? Um, I'm sorry, Orange, it does sound like ass. The speaker just talks like crazy. So here's my point. Why even give it a speaker? Make this a head. Make it the Orange Crush Mini head. For, that's the thing, not the beginner. This is not a beginner amp. For 
not the practice amp on the table, which it isn't because it doesn't sound good enough for that. But for the guy who needs a little backup amp in case his live rig goes down the drain, you could really still plug this in and mic up your cab and continue the gig. You could put this on a pedal board and have a little quick pedal board solution. Could you, could you run a rehearsal with it as long as you're micing your amp? Absolutely, as long as you're micing your amp. Uh, for me, for recording, and I'm not shitting you, it's a great sound. So having this as a mini head without the speaker, but all the features, but maybe we don't need the aux in, but having this in a tiny little box, that would be really cool. And again, would you buy it? Would I buy it? I, I, to be honest, after what I recorded this morning, hell yeah, this is way cool. And even if it doesn't sound super mega amazing with a built-in speaker, which it doesn't, this is a cool thing to just have as a little collectible, which is very usable once you start using it with a different speaker. And even if you don't, noodle around with it on the coffee table. Why not? Use a built-in speaker. You know that the distortion is from the speaker. But who cares? Have some fun with it. I give this a full thumbs up because it's fun and actually usable way beyond its appearance as a little novelty gimmick. So if you put this over here, come on, that's kind of cool. I like it. I'm going to give this the thumbs. Link below, I think. And animals at the end. Another direction I won't go, I won't be my father's son